All right. Greetings all. Let me go ahead and explain something. These programs are bugged. This is how you know. And so when you move the cursor, the video stalls. That means somebody's actively tapping into this program. As I've put out other videos in the past where I've showed that when you have certain police encounters, the time lapses with the sound, effectively throwing your video off. Because of course the police are liars and you can use their words against them just as they do to you. And so when you speak to a police officer, you can make a rather humorous video to expose their hypocrisy and corruption. And in doing so, there are certain people that are attempting to prevent you. This is what they call propaganda. It's nothing different than what they've engaged in prior to Benjamin Franklin. And the masters of this are the Europeans, particularly uh, British people, the French, Italians, and so on. And so the U.S. being a front for these European nations, knowing history, it has engaged in some of these professional traits and frustrating the purpose of those they deem as a threat is a priority. They know how physiologically, uh, you know, how f physiology works and how your body responds to disruptions and this being one I first noticed this happen when I had made the uh, WikiLeaks video about over a year ago and it was stalled because of some of these interruptions that that video should have actually came out months before it did. However, it didn't actually end up being that good. There were problems with the visual. It looked as if the, the computer had a virus, that, that everything was distorted. And I had to fix that. And then there was problems with the sound, which if you look at the video, it's the Beast series of WikiLeaks. That video, um, the sound quality is very poor. I had a, an amazing soundtrack. I believe I have the sound file. Um, however, I, I have not uh, had time to, to adequately look for it. So. Um, if I do, I can remake that video with the right sound. So, some of these things are happening without us really knowing. I was in the library yesterday and I was attempting to get information, you know, for a report. And some of the web pages I was unable to visit. Uh, the page just wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't uh, process, it, it continued to run. And, you know, normally if you wait 30 seconds or so, it will run out, and it will give you an error, it will say you can't visit this uh, page. Um, so, this may have to do with this net neutrality, where certain websites are given preference. Obviously, if you go, if you go to www.google.com, it, it's almost without fail. E even if you don't have the internet, a lot of times you can you can put that into the uh, the web uh, browser and it will come up Google you might not be able to search for some but that main page comes up I mean there's there's preference given to the the traditional 
oligopoly of communication channels and now they've split up and uh, become uh, you know essentially distributed their brand to smaller units in an effort of, of reverse branding to you know take over the image of being a separate from themselves and you know the kids high school kids now being trained to hack they have these hackathons so that these folks that that guard the palaces of the criminals are able to access your material but you can't able access theirs because they protected themselves in this way um, moving you know into this digital era um, this machine is is what rules and these machines are being built with these chips in them where they can be remotely accessed you know wireless technology uh, it's turned into a fashion you know to make people believe that it's going to benefit them and it probably will benefit some people we know that as people are their personalities are codified this beast force is looking for the recruits that they know are foolproof will do what they're told to do there's you know how many these people are um, they're growing in number this is the worship and servitude of the beast uh, prophesied in Revelation 13 of St. John and it could not be more obvious so obviously to myself after engaging in these activities over the several years I've noticed some things that weren't right and this being one of them um, and as I stated it has a fit it can tend to have a physiological effect because when people get used to using these machines and rely on them so much when they malfunction it makes people depressed you know it, take a child 13 years old today and take their smartphone away from them do you think they might get angry do you think they might get depressed do you think they might say things that are hurtful that they may regret let's say if it's a parent or something what if their phone just comes up missing what if the parent says no I'm not gonna get you another phone it would almost be considered cruel but why is that why is that because this generation is being brought up to be more dependent on this great idol you see everywhere people worshiping and it's consuming their thoughts because those images and those words are going to become what those people think so whoever's able to project their image onto the public is able to rule over others and these corporations that control the uh, the, the uh, roadway of the internet um, are only permit permitting certain individuals access to have information about individuals to project their you know freedom of you know to speak to be able to voice their themselves um, appropriately uh, these things are being kept suppressed from people using these tools so people have to become creative there's no way you're going to defeat, defeat Satan with evil so the only weapon we have that will win is truth and we have to find creative enough ways those of us that would choose to know truth to have truth known for all because as we know some people on the earth would not choose for all to have truth because if all had truth then that would take away from what they have it's just a simple matter of economics and competition when you compete with somebody for gain 
if that person has the same trade secrets, say be your competitor, do you think that might take you, put you at a disadvantage? So once people know truth, then those that are benefiting at the expense of others will have to come down. And so obviously those people don't want others to know truth. But for those of us that do want truth, do desire truth, you know, let us find ways to be able to reach those that desire truth as well and may not have it for whatever reason. Because as long as so is, is the will is there, then they are us and we are them. So if you want to make a change or do anything, you've got to wait. Now, mind you, I have no internet access, haven't had internet access in years. And anytime you do something to this video editing software, you're going to have to wait. Now, a lot of people say, well, that's paranoia. <laughs> Your computer is probably just uh, dealing with uploading some software. Well, unless it does it 24 hours, seven days a week, <clears throat> um, I don't believe this paranoia. If you knew how these computers worked, you wouldn't either. <laughs>